with us 20 with countries. 11 man delegation that paid yeah. a courtesy visit to the first lady at state house nakasero on the sidelines of the three-day african interparliamentary conference in entebbe the team met the first lady to update her on the proceedings and key messages from the conference attended by speakers deputy speakers and heads of delegations from 20 countries the conference was organized to bring together members of parliament and leaders from African countries to help them understand the activities and plans of some international organizations, particularly those concerning Africa. One of the key messages that has been very clear and coming out from all the people is that Africa, the hope is in Africa to save the world. Amen to that. And since Uganda has been leading this is the first, the second interparliamentary conference on family and sovereignty that we have held. It is now Uganda that should help Africa or unite Africa to actually lead this war to save the world, but also Africa specifically from extinction. Mrs. Mseveni acknowledged the significant challenge currently facing the family and thanked all those willing to offer themselves to stand up and be counted for speaking against agendas that are detrimental to the survival of the human family. Time, it's time now for Africa to really stand up and speak for itself for a change. We have been bulldozed into all sorts of things, but this time, surely, we have to be able to stand up and say no, and nobody can force it down our throats. We thank you for what you do for the human family across the globe in this season indeed. So I want you to know that some of us may not be at the forefront, but we are right there backing you up with our prayers and uh, a humble contribution to that, that struggle in our different uh, capacities in our nations. Among the issues of concern shared by the delegates were the proposed amendment of the international health regulations, the pandemic treaty agenda, and transgender health care guidelines that are being promoted by the World Health Organization. African national sovereignty or continental sovereignty uh, uh, has been at, uh, under attack for a number of years now. Right. And uh, two things have come up, uh, especially through the WHO, the World Health Organization, that have become very, very serious uh, impediments for the growth and uh, development of the continent of Africa and all African nations. Please weigh in to stop uh, your, your uh, ambassador or minister of health going to the upcoming uh, assembly, World Health Assembly, from signing this, this treaty. Reporting for UBC, Baguma William.